can hope to do is enter myself! But no words will sway you, will they? The very reason we are both here now is because I could not give up. I knew that I alone could not save her. But still I waited. Perhaps I am the greatest fool of us all. Then just what are you suggesting? Are you truly fool enough to think that we can work together to save her? Such hopeless optimism was always in my nature, wasn't it? It's like a long-lost memory now. No matter what happens, no matter what hell you are put through, you will only insist on saving her, won't you? So be it. Go on and struggle against fate itself. Show me how you, how I, will face the end of them. You get my aid just this once. The time has come to save her. Your faces are gonna get stuck in those scowls if you're not careful. Would it kill you two to crack a smile? Xiao, we need an answer. Why have you gone public with the search for Matoi? Actually, maybe the better question is, what are you planning to do after you find her? Kill her. That's what Xion would do anyway. Kill her, whatever the cost. Even if it meant resorting to something like Code Abyss. Even my calculations confirm that the optimal method for dealing with this situation would be Matoi's immediate obliteration. Xion would say that it's not too late to end her. So we have to find her while we still have the chance. Xiao, how could you? I'm a backup copy of Xion, made by Xion. You could even say I'm a flawed simulacrum. By any measure of performance, I am but their shadow. But inferior or no, there's one way in which I surpass her. I... can understand the human heart. I'll kill Matoy. I should kill Matoy. I must take Matoy's life. If I were just a straight copy, I'm sure that's exactly what I'd be saying. But my heart is telling me that's not what I want to do. It's telling me not to kill Matoy. Show. <sighs> What's my problem? None of this is even remotely logical. I'm not fit to be the administrator. Okay, that's enough chatter. We've still got things that need doing. Matoy should be further up ahead. She's just waiting there, motionless. 
now remember, the profound darkness is a being of pure photons. But if you strike down a body made of photons, it'll just flicker back to life. We'll just have to bind it there instead. I've got a plan all set to go, and the others are ready to lend a hand. All of Arx is mobilized. Since we're pulling out all the stops, we can't let it get away from us. We have to confine it there, without fail. Believe in us, and press on. Six, do you all read me? I hope everyone understands the plan. Excuse me, Xiao. I suspect there may be two among us who might benefit from an explanation. Ha <laughs> ha! Who is it? Speak up, speak up! Don't be ashamed. Raise those hands high. Me! What's that, Clara's craze? You don't get the plan? Well, guess what? Neither do I! Come on, Kasra, don't look at me. I know what's going on. Alright, Nitwits, that is enough nonsense for one lifetime. Surely you... This plan could come undone if we allow even a single slip. Xiao, would you explain it once more? It's nothing to be too worked up about. Your task is to set up the containment barrier. Sukunahime, the maiden of Harukotan. Just when did you obtain this information? I mean, I haven't been just sitting around twiddling my thumbs. Sukunahime, you six points to form the ceiling circle. And we have six of you, with your cosmogenic arms. You six on the council will use your cosmogenic arms to set up and activate the barrier. This is the profound darkness we're up against, so slowing it down may be our only option, but sealing it here just temporarily would be enough. Hmm. Let me get this straight. I just have to get to the target location and give it a good whack with Clarissa? That about sums it up. I'll give you more detailed instructions as we go, so that'll do for now. Good luck, everyone. Right.
profound darkness. There are more false spawn than usual. But hear me out. You cannot allow them to stop you. You've got to keep pressing further and further inward. Forget about what's happening around you. Just think about one thing. Saving Matoy. Well, I knew Matoy would see the ceiling circle. And I had a feeling she'd come up with her own plan. But... Going so far as to copy Dark Falls to go after the trio of heroes. Seems like that's breaking the rules a little bit. Worry not, Shao. We are the trio of heroes. Let us cut through these imitation dark falls with a single stroke and carve a path toward the future. No doubt. We would be besmirching our titles if we turned tail at such a trivial fight. And to think, the profound darkness would give me a stab at Luther. How very thoughtful of it. I've been positively longing for the opportunity to kill him with my own two hands. Honestly, when are you going to learn not to try and bear all these burdens yourself? It's not just you who has to win here, Clarice Grace. It's all of us. Remember that, okay? I know. I know. How could I forget something like that? This is more than just my own fight. This is our fight! Yeah! 
completed. I can hear it. A hollow voice, brimming with remorse. It went so far as to sacrifice its loved ones to create a new world. And now the world has gone terribly wrong. Oh, it must have been so hard. I can hear it. A thunderous voice. Bubbling with anger. It says it had its very existence whisked away. Twisted and tampered with. Denied any freedom. <sighs> it must have been so painful. I can hear it. A frightened voice. Trembling with regret. not know who it is. All it can do is cover its ears and shut the world out. Ah, the sorrow it must know. Even the strongest among us has a heart full of hardship, pain, and sorrow. Just take all of that away and disappear. Everyone would be left with nothing but joy. And yet, it's so strange. Why do I feel this way? Is it because I feel the weight of the world on my shoulders? But... I was born to shoulder this exact burden. So... Why do I still feel... So alone?
six are safe and the barrier is in place. This should keep the profound darkness sealed tight down here. We of the six must pool all our strength into maintaining this barrier. That means the rest is all up to you, and I've had about enough already, to be honest. Limitations though there were, we trio of heroes did fight against Dark Falls. I do hope you won't think too poorly of us for stepping aside. Listen, Bonehead! I still want to talk about all kinds of stuff with my predecessor! Get it done right, or you'll have to answer to me! Same here. I've still got a ton that I want to talk to her about. So bring her back, alright? I want to see both of you in one piece when this is all over. I'll never forgive you if the two of you don't make it back. <laughs> Not too scary when she's all worn down like that, is she? Well, all I have to say is, I don't have a damn thing to say. Where there's a will, you'll find a way. And whichever way it goes, I'll be here to catch you if you fall. Just do your best and go easy on yourself, huh? Listen, don't you forget that you've got all of us backing you up.
There really is no measuring how kind you are. Here I was, ready to do this. But I don't think I can now. That kindness of yours can be a real curse sometimes, you know? Even when I was consumed by absolute darkness, your voice alone could still reach me. That's how I made it back. This is it, though. My very last chance. My last chance to make things right. The profound darkness has already manifested inside me. And it's too late to stop it. But, if I die right here, right now, I can finally lock it away forever. I can stop this, once and for all. So if that kindness of yours won't let you do what must be done,
I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. When it mattered, I couldn't bring myself to do it. And I ended up costing you your lives. You may not know it. But you and I once made a promise together. Don't cry. Smile. We have received the profound darkness. Now she will live on, as will you. But know this. It has not been eradicated. Eventually, it will take shape once more. I have never seen a timeline in which the profound darkness has appeared with the dark falls by its side and been defeated. And yet, I have never seen a timeline in which she was rescued, either. The rest depends on you. Go and weave a timeline beyond the reaches of omniscience. Consider that our one and only final wish. Now, that just wasn't fair. Leaving, before we even had a chance to thank them, or say goodbye. How could they? But I was told to smile. So for now, I'll try. I'll keep this smile up until it's okay to cry. After all, they said the profound darkness would come back. And since it's essentially our fault it's been revived, we ought to be the ones to destroy it. I assume the Dark Falls are also on their way, and we still have to do something about the Fall Spawn. Plates are totally full. Who has time to stand around crying? Right? There's no time to waste. Oh, wait. That's so strange. I really tried to smile. And this shouldn't be. <sighs> Stop! to me right now. Now you're the one not playing fair. Sorry. I'm really sorry. I don't think I could keep my promise.
It's wonderful what you've given me. A new light to see the world again as I'd never seen. But how can I rid this sorrow away that lingers inside of me? And how? It was.